Praise the Lord, global Christian friends, and we hope that you're enjoying uh, this great knowledge that the Father is giving to you, knowing that it is him, himself, and not ourselves. This is Bishop Young. And we have looked at the difference between the first estate and the first love, between those angels that don't have a chance and between angels that have the capability to repent. Remember, therefore, from whence thou art fallen, and repent, and do the first works. Now, how can you not desire to repent and go back and do the first works when you realize what you had lost, what you had came away from, and those realms that you have found yourself in so that you are under the potential of eternal judgment. But because of love here for the angel of the church of Ephesus, he is given the chance to repent and go back gladly to his first works. And uh, the beauty of that is going back to your first works and uh, the first works in love and the first works of love and the uh, great results. I can tell you that there are things that are so immense and that are so eternal and that are so monumental until it will take more than a short period of time to be able to explain them the way that, well, put it this way. It is less easier going off into the kingdom of God and doing a perfect work there and receiving the results than going off into the kingdom where the first works exist and to be able to explain the kingdom of the first works of love. I want to make a distinction here so that we may be able to understand uh, the first works in the kingdom of love is far greater than those works that you're going to find in the kingdom of God. And you know that you're not going to go off into the kingdom of God unless you are first born of water and of the Spirit. Now that's John's Gospel, chapter 3, verse 5. And there are works already for you to be able to perform once you have gone off into the kingdom of God. Those works are perfect works. The works that are in the kingdom of love are divine works. And for an angel to leave the habitation or to leave the estate of divine works, I'm not going to get off into enticements. What could entice them to leave divinity and go off into perfection? and to leave perfection to go off into the area where they need to repent. 
Now, I think perhaps one of the greatest ways to explain that is by looking at uh, what the Lord has spoken through Ezekiel and called him the son of man against the king of Tyre. That is found in Ezekiel chapter 28, verse 12. And I'll read just a portion of that if I've got the time. Son of man, take up a lamentation upon the king of Tyre, and say unto him, Thus saith the Lord God, Thou sealest up the psalm, full of wisdom and perfect in beauty. Thou hast been in Eden, the garden of God. Every precious stone was thy covering, the sardis, the topaz, the diamond, the beryl, the onyx, the jasper, the sapphire, the emerald, and the carbuncle, gold, the workmanship of thy tabrets and of thy pipes was prepared in thee in the day that thou was created. Think about that statement. Verse 14. Thou art the anointed cherub that covereth, and I have set thee so. Thou hast been upon, or thou wast upon the holy mountain of God. Thou hast walked up and down in the midst of the stones of fire. Thou was perfect in thy ways from the day that thou was created. And here comes the word, T-I-L-L, -L, till iniquity was found in thee. Think about that statement and see that angel and look at everything that he possessed until iniquity was found in him. Now this is the king of Tyre, but the word came from the lips of God through the Son of Man into the bosom of the prophet Ezekiel. And now we can begin to get wonderful understandings that God would have us to understand about angels. Now there's much more that we will get into and discuss about that prince of Tyre if God said the same as we move further into our understanding of the book of Revelation to the angels and to the churches. Now, now that we've gotten a clear understanding about the size and the dimensions and the works of the angels, we will continue further at the next time. God bless you and we love you. Amen.